Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric production. We are given the two views of the figure, which is the plan and the front elevation in third angle projection. That is, the top here you are seeing is the plan and the down here you are seeing what is the front elevation. So we want to transform this into the isometric production. When you have the word isometric production, the first thing you have to do is for you to draw your isometric axis, right? By placing your T-square on what? Your C-square and your T-square in this fashion, right? And you draw your vertical line this way. And you also draw the horizontal line using the x and the z axis this way and you do here too the same thing this way you can see that now the next thing you have to do is to get the length the length and the width from the plan you can see here right it's telling us that the length and the width because i told you earlier that you can get the length and width from the plan so the length and the width since i'm having this figure here in front of 54 meaning that what 54 all true right all this length and the width are the same that was telling us so i'm going to measure 54 54 in both sides right so if i measure 54 on my meter rule i can decide to use my rule and measure 54 through my compass so this is 54 here can you see that and i'll place it at this point here right and i'll mark 54 towards the left towards the right and 54 towards the left now if you look at the plan also from here look at my arrow what i'm showing you you realize that the height is gotten from the front elevation right and if you look at the height we have 44 plus 10 and that's 54 meaning that here is 54 here is 54 and here also is what 54 so the height is also what 54 and i'm going to use my instrument right i'm going to use it to project those points upward so if i place it here i'll project this point upward i'll move it to this point too put it here upward too you can see that and what i did here i also did at this point too just to form out my cube or my box so come in here i'll do the same thing here i'll move it to this point too I'll join here and I'll turn it this way too. I'll join here. Can you see that? So, what we have here, this is the box that we have stylishly brought out. Start again. Now we'll start from the top. Or we can actually start from the base, wherever I want us to start. Now, from the top, we have a thickness. From the front elevation here is given to be what 10. So the top from here I'll measure 10 downward. So with the help of my meter rule, I'm going to measure 10 downward this way. Right? This is 10 from here to 1 is 10. And I'll take in that all round. I'll first of all take my meter rule and I'll take in all those points all round, right? So taking from here to this point. Right, and also I'll take in from here to to this point. You can see that, and I'll come here to I'll draw my faint lines first of all. Faint line. Then I'll come here also. I'll draw my faint line here too. Hope you can see that 
I'm not taking it here. I'll tell you the reason why I'm not doing that. Similarly, all these points here are also thickened. From here to this point here is also what thickened. From here also to all this point here is also thickened. From here also to all this point here is thickened. From here also to all this point here is thickened. Right, and also I'll take in from here to here. I'll take in from here to here. I'll also take in from here to here. Can you see that? Now, all this you're seeing is hidden. You cannot see them. That's thickness you're seeing there. Now, if you look closely, there's a circular figure. Yeah, that is that's a you check out the plan here, you discover that the circular figure they given is given to be what 40 di 40 millimeter diameter. Look at it on the elevation. 40 millimeter what diameter. So what I'll do is to get the center of the base here. Right? So I'll place my to get the center I need to join the two diagonals. If I join the diagonal to this, right? Also if I join this diagonal to this, we discover that the center is here. This is the center here, right? So what I'll do is I'll now take my instrument. If I place it on my set square, I'll just draw a line. We're using ordinate method of construction. I'll connect here to here. Right? I'll also this is my faint line. I also connect from here to here. Can you see that? So the most important line here is this line. Let me call it line 1. Let me call it line 2. Let me call it line 3 and 4. You don't have to do that. Are you with me? Line 4. So you, since you are given 40 millimeter diameter, right? You will now take um, your compass or your meter. You measure half of 40, which is 20. From 0 to 20 can you see that and I'll come to the center point along 2 and 4 from the center point I'll mark 20 up right I'll also mark 20 down I'll mark to the right and also what to the left can you see that then I'm going to use my C square with the help of my T-square, I'm going to connect those two points together. So if I place it this way, I'll draw a line across uh, this point. Let me do that. I'll draw a line across this point. This way. I'll come here also. I'll draw another line across this point also. This way. Can you see that? And I'll close it up from here. And also close it up from here. Hope you can see that. So, what I'm after is just these four points here. Hope you can see that those the four point I have the smaller box there. So I'm going to join from this point to this point here, and from this point to this point here. Can you see? So these are what is important, these two points here. So in doing that, I will now take my compass, which I don't really have to do. I will take my compass and I'm going to connect um, from here. I will draw a an arc. Can you see that? Paint line. I'll come here too. 
from here I'll draw another arc from here let's put it very well okay I'll place it here too and I'll do this I see that I'm gonna place it here too and I'll do the same thing those faint line are you with me so after I'm done with that I'm going to come to the base too and I'll do the same thing I did at the base so what will I do just take your C square and your T square you draw the same line you connect here, draw your line this way. You come here also, you connect from this point to this point, just to form your closed box. Then you join the diagonals. So you see that? You join what? The diagonals. When you join the diagonals, you can easily transform your point. Do the same thing you did here, place it this way right and from here you can easily get here or if you don't want to do that just transfer the center point from here the center point you see here and you see that transfer it down so when you transfer it down remember that this is the center point here and you do the same thing draw your diagonal your line this way also yeah this way too and you see that the next thing you should do now is to get the diameter look at this now from the state elevation here the diameter at this point here which is the point we're about to do is given to the world 20 what 28 right is 28 so you're going to measure half of 28 in your meter root, which is what that will give me um that will give me 9 um 14 right so i'm going to measure 14 0 2 14 this 10 this 14 here and i'll place it at this point i'll mark 14 right I'll mark 14 mark 14 and also I'll mark 14 can you see that then I'll take my C square and I'll form a box out of that 14 this way and also this way I'll come here to this way on those points and here to this way can you see that so i brought out that box so to be in this box i'm going to draw my circles so when i draw a line from this point here using ordinate method from here i'll draw a line that will pass and touch here from here also i'll draw a line that will pass and touch here this so at this point, it is what I need. So let's put it and see how it goes. So if I place my compass here to this end here, right? I'm going to draw this arc. Let me take it. I'll come here also at this point where intersect. I'll do the, take my radius to this point, and I'll do the same thing here too. Right, then I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing here too. Right, now I'll place it here. I'll do the same thing here too. So, all this is here at the back here. Let me dim it a little bit. They are meant to be faint line or hidden line, right. So you now combine, you join from this point here to this point. 
Will you not make it obvious? Oh? Just look at what I'm doing here. I'll draw and I'll stop here. Can you see that? I'll come here also to this point. I'll draw right and I'll stop here. Can you see that? Then I'll need to tick in this. So if I tick in it, this is what I'll be having. That's what I'm having. So all this you're seeing here will just be what? Hidden line. There'll be what? Hidden line. You cannot see it from afar. As in, it's solid. So all this are what? Hidden line. Is that the king? So this is what we are told to do. The other hidden line you're seeing here will not show. Right? This is the, there's an hidden line inside the smaller um, the smaller diameter of 15 you can see here. But we don't have, it cannot show because this thing is it is facing down, not facing up. Alright, it is what facing down, not what facing up. So if I want to just show, I can easily put an hidden line here if I want to. Let me just take um uh how do I put it? A French curve and draw that there. So since it's 15, 15 is a little bit small, I can just use this and take 15 here and I'll place it well, this way, right, and it's just hidden line, you don't necessarily do this, it's just for the fun of it, so I'll just have this hidden line. You cannot see, that is, it's inside. Right, so there's a needle line here, and there's also in here too. So I want to do that. Let me just do that for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it. So if I place it this way, right, and I'm having this for the fun of it. Can you see that? So I can just join from here to here. That's the front of it to this point. And this to this. Can you see that? It is a true in. And similarly, I can just complete this. It's a faint line, but I'll use a hidden line here. So that you get to see a hidden line. You cannot see all this place you're seeing hidden line. You cannot see it because of the figure is solid. This is just for the fun of it. You can decide to skip this process. Alright? And all this also will be hidden line. All this also will be hidden line. Just for the fun of it. Right? And what is again? This also you see here is also I can make it to be the hidden line here. For the fun of it. So this is what we have here. We have successfully reproduced the figure that you can see at the right hand side of the screen, right? In isometric production, I showed all the hidden features. You might not show them if you want to. Either you leave it this way, or you leave it this way. You are very correct. If you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.